Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's been a couple of years since I made a video about the Apple Watch, and as you might be able to tell just from looking at my hand, I, I don't have an Apple Watch at the moment. Recently, Apple unveiled their brand new Apple Watch Series 6 and Apple Watch SE, and so of course, as I mentioned, it's been a couple of years. I had the Apple Watch Series 4, so I made an appointment. I ran over to the Apple Store, masks and everything, sanitization, social distancing, all of that fun stuff that has to do with 2020 and moving forward, and I came back with a bag full of toys. Realistically, I went ahead and I purchased an Apple Watch. 40 millimeter for myself and a band to go along with it. With this latest generation of Apple watches, they are getting so heavy into the customization of the watch, being able to select from so many different colors, band styles and sizes. Now they're not doing them all as one big bundle, as far as I can tell. So what you can see here in front of me today is the Series 6 blue aluminum case with a 40 millimeter size, as well as the 40 millimeter deep navy solo loop size 9. Now if that does not make a whole lot of sense to you, one of the biggest things they announced with the new Apple watches is the solo loop and the braided solo loop. And essentially what that is, up to this point, if you have an Apple Watch, you usually would get one of the sport bands that you clip in and then they fit into one another and they snap into place like that. Silicon bands, very simple, they work really well. And actually they're very cheap if you wanted to replace one from a third party, got a handful of these. But the new ones, same kind of thing, silicone band, as you can see on here, but instead of being broken in the middle and having to attach it every time, it's a rubber band. So once you attach it to the watch, you just pull it up over your arm. That does sort of beg the question, how do you know what size? As I mentioned, mine was a size nine. My wife was going to be a size four, but unfortunately they didn't have the watch she was looking for. Well, the way that they deal with that, they do provide a downloadable sizing guide you can get. But if you go into the store, they have these, the watch sizing guide, which you essentially grab here, you peel it apart got this long strip in the middle. You pull this section off and attach it to your arm. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna waste this one just in case, but then you pull it around like this until it lines up where it's kind of comfortable. As you can see on mine here, I am sort of right in the middle of the nine. In the store, somehow I got it to say eight and that was just, when I tried on the eight, it was super constrictive. So that is why I would recommend, if at all possible, if you're interested in picking one of these up, try to get into a store. They're doing it by appointments now. They're checking temperatures on the way in. They're sanitizing everything between visits. They're being as careful as they they can, but try to get your hands on one of these. And again, if you can, try one on in person before buying it. But they did mention multiple times in the store, if I got home, if I tried this out and it just wasn't a perfect fit, two weeks, I can take it back, I can exchange it, no questions asked, I can even return it if I don't love it. I'm gonna go ahead and start opening this and get it all set up and everything, just let you see how it fits on the wrist and what some of the new features are. As I mentioned earlier, I am upgrading from the Series 4 to the Series 6. So some of the bigger things that I missed out on last generation, always on display. I did have the ECG on my Series 4, but on the Series 6 now, they also have a pulse oximeter, a blood oxygen meter. Here we go, I've got it open now. Uh, you can see here they do include just an empty box in this one. So I'm guessing if you were to order it online, instead of having this empty box, you'd just have the band. The other big thing, in my opinion, new colors. So if you're buying the SE, I think they do still have it limited to, I can't remember the exact names, but I think it's like graphite or, or space gray, silver and gold. So they don't have a rose gold anymore. But then if you go with the six, there's also a blue and a red. I think the red is actually a product red, which would actually be the same as the phone that I'm using, but. I didn't really want a red watch. Had one a few years ago. Actually still have one, as I remembered. It's sitting in a drawer in the next room, the pebble time in the bright red. But anyway, I wanted something a little different. I wanted something, well, actually, as you can probably see here, I, I tend to wear blue. I'm not wearing blue shirt at the moment, but I do wear a lot of blue. So I figured a blue watch would be an interesting change of pace. And I think that's actually what all the reviewers got. All the reviewers that got free ones to keep for a couple of weeks, I am not in that group. But here is the watch in its handy dandy little case. It does say 40 millimeters on the back. Documentation, as you would expect all the setup materials and everything, and the USB charger. And then for the band, handy dandy little pull tab here. Maybe not as handy as I thought it was gonna be, but we got there. Some more documentation and instructions if you're not familiar with putting a band on an Apple Watch. But there you go. There is the navy blue solo loop. And watch this. It's kind of like Laffy Taffy, super stretchy. And the kind of nice thing here is you should be able to just attach it either way and it should just work. Slide it in, it clicks. Hope oh, and I accidentally hit the button. And actually, as you can see here, it's already ready to go. And I bring up my phone next to it. You can see, use your phone to set up this watch. Now it's ready to set it up. And actually another new thing with these newer models, I have the option to set it up for myself or for a family member. So if I wanted to set one up for my 11 year old because he doesn't have an iPhone, I could technically do that with the Watch 6 or the Watch SE. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up for myself though. It says to put on your Apple Watch and hold it up to the camera. So here's how you put it on. You just kind of stretch it and pull it over your arm. <laughs> you can see my tan line there, but I have a, a finger's width worth of room. It's not constricting or anything. It's not pulling my arm hair, which is kind of abundant at the moment. Then we will get it with the camera 
and your Apple Watch is paired. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and hit restore from backup because that'll be super easy. You can even see the three watches that I've had previously. So I originally had the Series 2, I had the Series 3 Nike Edition, and then the Series 4, which I just traded in. Select the Series 4 backup and hit continue. That should get me my watch face and everything ready to go. And actually, just to go ahead and mention it there, if you wanted to sell a, a Series 4 watch outright, you could probably get in the neighborhood of like $200 for it, but you also have to deal with packaging it up and shipping it and or meeting somebody in person and doing the handoff and everything. Apple was offering $140 outright in the store and they let me keep the band and the charger and everything. They just took the brains of the original one. So I went ahead and did that for myself. My wife unfortunately shattered her, her series four. Fell off the bathroom sink yesterday, the same day I was going to pick up my watch. And unfortunately we're going to have to ship it off because luckily we do have Apple Care on hers. Anyway, terms and conditions, Apple Watch shares settings with the iPhone, find my phone, Siri and analytics and everything. Sure. We can change the boldness of the text and the size. Continue the Apple Watch passcode, which I will be entering on the watch itself. And blood oxygen, you can use the blood oxygen app to check your blood oxygen levels. Enable, absolutely. Keep it up to date, sure. Apple Pay. Never actually used Apple Pay on the watch. I think I used it to get on a plane back in the before time when we actually got on planes, but it would be nice to be able to use that. Just tap it down on something. So I'm going to continue. Let it set up Apple Pay and everything. Might as well. And actually, while we're here, I am kind of curious. My wife tends to be a little accident prone when it comes to her watch. So actually, before she cracked the screen yesterday, it actually already had scratches all over the screen. So I picked these up relatively recently, and I had not had the chance to install this on her watch. Kind of wish I had. But I am just curious to see if this would work with the Series 5. I think these were like $10 for a two pack. And I did have this one on mine. We went on a trip a couple of weekends ago just to go out for a hike in nature and everything. I ended up having to take this off of mine because of the humidity. But essentially, if you can see it here, this is silicone, it's soft, it's see-through. You can see my hand through it. Might distort a little bit. And actually when I was using this before, it did distort whenever I'd put on my polarized sunglasses, but I could still see and everything. It's got a place that you can push the crown through. It does have a cover for the button, but most importantly, it just provides a little cover for the screen to protect it. Actually, I think I'll go ahead and try to put it on and see if it fits. So I take the watch off, I hit the button, slide this end off, slide the other end off. Then we'll just kind of slide this in place. I keep saying slide. And one thing I'm immediately noticing as I'm just putting this case on here, the blue case, not going to go terribly well with many of the watch bands I've got. So for example, blue case with black watch band, it's going to look more like a bruise than anything. Anyway, I'll go ahead and put this back on for the moment. Super easy to do. Now I have just a layer of protection there. You can see it kind of pulls up when I pull on it, but that will keep the watch face safe. But what you can already see there is it looks a little weird when you put it over the watch face. And if you're in a humid place, it's going to get water under here very quickly. So when we went on a hike, it definitely got a lot of water under there. Didn't damage the watch or anything, but yeah. So I was just curious if this was going to fit and it will. So maybe I'll leave it on there. Well, for whatever reason I had to start over, I think I messed it up. I turned it off accidentally somehow. Anyway, I've now gotten to the point where you can see here, it says Apple Watch Basics, Display, Digital Crown, Side Button, definitely the basics. Tap on Display. Maybe take this off and make it easier to see. Tap to select, swipe and scroll to move, press and hold to change the watch face, tap and swipe the top edge to see notifications, tap and swipe the bottom edge of the screen to access additional controls, digital crown, press to return to the watch face, press and hold to talk to SIRI, turn to scroll, zoom, or adjust, and then the side button, press to show the dock, that means all the things you've had running, double click for Apple Pay, and press and hold for medical ID, emergency SOS, and power. And I'm guessing that this little section up here it has to do with how close we are to being ready to go. You can see it's three quarters of the way done right now, so I'll just give it a second. Yeah, that's not taking too long. You see it's almost done already. And also while I'm waiting for this to finish up, I will go ahead and mention when I was in the store getting ready to purchase this, I had every intention of buying the, the braided band, the solo band that's just like this, but it's all braided. I really like the way that it felt to the touch. They said it's a mixture of braided nylon yarn as well as silicon kind of like this band but whenever i had it on when i was just moving around in it a little bit it felt like it was rubbing my arm raw and i just did not like that so again if you can get to a store and try one on or try one on that a friend might have probably do that before investing because the braided band is actually 50 dollars more so it's 449 the watch with the standard bands is 399 oh and it looks like we're already ready it says your watch is ready press the digital crown to start we've already done all that so we'll press the crown and there we go. It's already telling me, put out the trash. But this is exactly the same watch face I had before. 
and all of them that I had on here. You've also got the option here to customize your Apple Watch. So I can hit edit on my faces and then I can change the order they show up in. I should be able to add additional ones and I can change the order they show up in on the, the watch. I think the only other thing I'd really like to look at today is the blood oxygen meter. Ah, I think I found it there. So if I tap on this one, Blood O2, here's some tips that can help you get a good measurement. Make sure your watch is not too low on your wrist, so I should probably move it up some. It should be snug, but comfortable. I'll hit next. I tend to wear mine right down here at the bone end. You can see where my tan line is. It says keep your watch facing up and try not to move. Resting your wrist on a table can help. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my arm down like this and hit start. You can see it's taking 15 seconds. I probably should grab, I've got a pulse oximeter. I should probably grab it and test it against this. But there you go, it says 100%. That sounds a little high for me. With the oximeter I've got, it always says like 96, 97. And in theory, I should be able to change out any of these complications. So if I hold the screen and then press edit, swipe over and select this one, I should be able to swipe down and find, there it is, blood oxygen. So now I can tap on that. You've got all kinds of options for what these can be, but for the time being, I'm gonna leave that one like that so I can just tap on it and come right back to it. Let me run and grab the blood oxygen meter just so I can try them against each other, right? All right, there we go. So this is an inexpensive little gadget I picked up on Amazon, it was like $13. But if I hold that and then also tap here, see if I can get them both to go at the same time. And actually now you can see 97 and 97. I ran up and down the stairs to do that. This one's now at 98. Let's give it another try. I mean. It is gonna be within like 2%, I would assume. As always, don't treat this as if it's medical advice. So like, if this thing says that your blood oxygen is like 70%, you definitely go check with a doctor, but yeah, 97, 98, they seem to be staying pretty consistent. But if nothing else, it's pretty good baseline. It lets you know roughly where you lie. And some of the other features like being able to tell if you're having an, an abnormal heart rhythm. I'm a big fan of the idea of that and of using this kind of technology for monitoring your health. I definitely need that as well as just needing to get myself back in better shape. So I'm working on it. And I think that's where I'll wrap this just sort of initial video up. I wanted to give you some thoughts and opinions and impressions of the device after going to a physical store to end up purchasing one, which by the way, lovely experience, especially the trade-in process. I've done Apple trade-ins before and they've never been problematic, but doing it in a store, being able to have the person help me wipe the device and giving me the same evaluation for it as they gave on the website and just immediately putting that credit onto my account, absolutely great. So that's kind of my opinion on it, my thoughts about it. You may have your own experiences. You may have your own opinions on it. I definitely welcome them down in the comment section. I will, however, put links to where you can find this new watch on Apple site, as well as Best Buy and some other places, wherever I can find it, down in the video description under that like button. If you happen to like the video you, while you're down there and you want to hit it, that's cool. If you have not already, if you want to get notified when new videos come out, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If it's red, you don't have it hit correctly and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified when new ones come out as well. Thanks as always for watching though. And I'll see you again next time. Bye, guys.